What's up guys and welcome back to another tutorial by Ralph. In this tutorial I want to show you how to cut up your long gameplay recordings like recordings that are over an hour long and cut them up into multiple episodes simply uh, in the same timeline and then render them maybe like in this case I'm going to do two episodes two episodes of about 30 minutes each and then render them at the same time. So I've prepared everything already in Sony Vegas. I've got my uh, one hour and four minutes long gameplay footage of Far Cry 2. And I've got my uh, vocal channel on this on this uh, layer right here. And then I got the gameplay channel on this layer right here. In my media, project media, I've got the, uh, the sound because I've already um, cleaned up the sound. Check out my other tutorial on how to clean up your sound. Then I've uh, got my icon overlay, which puts my little R icon in the top right corner. And I've got my outro and my intro. Remember that whenever you put a video file into Sony Vegas, right click on the video file properties and make sure that you click on disable resample. It's just super good to always do that. All right, now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go pick the beginning of um, my footage. So, um, somewhere around all right so right here is the beginning of uh, of my talking and everything so I'm going to cut off the beginning bit and just slide it forward a bit just to have a little bit of room in front and then I am going to press Control shift Q which will insert another video layer above there and then I'm going to stick my intro Smack right there, and it's got a sound and a um, video thing. Remember, always right click properties and disable resample. Just get used to always doing that. I'm going to slide this bit right up to line up with the end of the intro. Now, in the previous, ep uh, previous tutorial I did, or when I usually just have a single thing, I usually put the intro on the same layer as the actual video footage, but in this case, you'll see later on why I, why I don't do that. Anyway, now I'll put my cursor here and I'm going to slide this so where I can see that my vocals start. I'm actually going to slide a bit further and just add a bit to the front here. There we go. My vocals start right about where the intro ends. All I got to do now is make sure this fades in nicely by grabbing the corner. This fades in nicely by grabbing this corner. And the audio here, I don't have to fade it out because the audio fades out anyway. But I'm going to fade out the actual video part of the intro. I don't need to fade in this video bit because it's on top here and it just slowly uncover this layer. So a quick test shows that it starts up quite nicely. Alright, next I'm going to find the middle bit somewhere. So around the 30 minute mark I need to find the middle. So let me just find a good spot to cut it. All right, I found a spot where I can cut the uh, footage into two episodes. So I'm going to find the exact marker. Um, right here, I'm going to end it. I'm going to use S to slice it up, and then I'm going to just space them out a bit and move this uh, a bit further into the future. And this is going to be my end point. Now, my beginning point for the next episode, I'm going to actually add a little bit to the beginning, like overlapping, so it'll be a little bit duplicate as to of uh, what I cut out. So the last bit that happens here is I say I need to follow this road. What I'm going to do here is include that in the beginning of the next episode. So then uh, people kind of get on track again. So that's pretty much that done. I need to make sure the ending is uh, trimmed nicely. See you in the next episode. And then that's it. Boom. That's the end right there. So now these basically are my two episodes. I don't want to slide this one around because it's already overlapped nicely with the intro. Now we got to do is stick on one outro and right click properties, disable resample, zoom in and slide it over. And then do the same thing. Fade out the vocal audio, fade out the game audio and fade in the video part of this outro. So to be continued. There we go. And then put in my intro here. Bow. Properties, disable, resample. As always, slide it back. Just use it back a little bit. Fade in the audio and fade in this audio. Fade out this video. 
I already did disable resample. Doesn't hurt to check. Doesn't hurt to check. And then I go to the very end of the footage, zoom in again, and stick my outro on the end again. There we go. Zoom it. Right click properties, disable resample. I'm going to just keep doing it so you guys get it stuck in your head as well. It's really important. You can tell if footage looks crap if you don't do a disable resample. I might actually do a separate video and, and have a side by side comparison. That'd be my That'd be a bit interesting, maybe. All right, so now I've got uh, two episodes. Uh, this here, including this little bit, is one episode. And this bit right here, I can zoom in and slide this little dude. Hold on, I need to do it a little bit better. Slide this dude all the way, come on then, all the way to the front here. Now, what the cool part is when you do file, or hold on, let me just uh, let me do things in the proper order. I'm going to do Control Shift Q again to give me another track on top. It's got nothing in it. And I'm going to put my icon overlay, and I'm going to stretch that over the entire thing. Now you see on the top right here is that R icon, which uh, lets people remember that they're actually watching my videos, even though it's got my voice the whole time. So never mind that. Slam this to the beginning and stretch it out past the end of it. And there we go. Now, the thing is, I don't want it to be above the outro and intro. Like right now, it's above the intro. I don't want that. That's why I just slide it underneath the intro. So now the intro comes out. Intro fades out. And the icon is just above the game footage. Perfect. And then what you can do is actually resize this layer to be the tiniest because it doesn't need to be in the way anymore. Now one quick thing is uh, if you know what's going on in the episode is what I like to do anyway is actually name them right here just uh, for future reference. So I'm gonna go just quickly see what it's about and, and then think of a clever little name for it. Alright, I've decided to call this episode uh, Go Find a Small Tank uh, it's misleading because it's a small tank. Oh wait, it should not be called small tank. It should be small canister. Canisters are, are, are go find a small canister. Uh, just watch the episode and you'll find out why it's called that. And in this episode, I'm going to go slide around and look. I'm going to call this episode Plantation Assault. Nice and short and sweet. Kind of knows what's going on. I'm not trying to be super clever in the episodes, but it's uh, it's fun. Um, or maybe I call it plantation, uh, like a toxic plantation, maybe toxic assault, plantation, or toxic assault. I don't know. I'll just call it. I'll, I'll maybe I'll change it later. That's the fun part. You can always change it uh, up until the point you actually publish the episode. So now they are truly ready, and the trick is um, save your project always. You select the the first episode, so I'm at the very end of the outro, and right here I'm at the very beginning of my intro, which is also the beginning of my file. Then I go to File, Render As. All right, name your episode, whatever you want to call it. So it's Far Cry 2, go get a small canister. Slightly different than go find a small canister. It's uh, part 26, uh, Windows Media, settings, everything cool. Uh, the important bit here is that in the render options here, you have render loop region only selected. So that's why it'll only render the first setting. And then you click render. Um, I'm going to try and do it and hope it doesn't screw up the recording. Alright, so that's kind of going. Now, in order to get this second bit to render at the same time, what you do is you open up another uh, instance of Sony Vegas. You can either do that by right-clicking and clicking on the name there, or even simpler, just middle-clicking on the icon. And now I have a second window of Sony Vegas open. What I'll do is File, Open Up My Project, which is the same project we were just working on. And I select the second episode here. So select the beginning there, drag this all the way until the end, 
go to file render as and then pick a name for that one as well and that's really it anyway guys uh, if you have any questions you go ahead and put them in the comments I'll try to answer them I'm not a really a professional but I can answer simple stuff um, if you enjoyed it please click the like button and maybe share it with your friends and subscribe uh, also also to see these two Far Cry episodes I'll put a link in the descriptions anyway this is Ralph been giving you a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro I'll see you guys later